in this video we shall look at how you can get a 99 plus percentile in cat want in just about two to four months before i start remember that you'd be able to do this in two months if you're preparing full time and you take about three to four months if you're going to be preparing part time that is you are working or going to college and preparing simultaneously and if you're already good in quant and are scoring about 90 plus percentile just follow this and you'll be able to get close to my score or even pass my cat score in the actual cat exam so what should you do it's very simple just follow these four steps step one is to watch the video lessons once then the three-step process starts like a loop you watch the concept videos and then restate the concepts and fill up the concept checklist and then take the speed concepts and review your mistakes now let me explain this to you in detail you need to watch the lessons once by watching the lessons once uh, i'm not expecting you to remember each and every part of the concepts you need to understand it at a 40 to 60 percent level now what happens after that are the steps two three and four which will work on perfecting your concepts so if possible just try to one shot the lessons right so just watch these lessons back to back uh, get a fresh notebook start taking notes over there and at least try to complete arithmetic one arithmetic two and algebra the three major modules back to back once a brain usually forgets what we do once and i can't expect you to go through the three hour lesson over and over again you just find it boring and time consuming Therefore, next comes step two, which are my bullet videos, the speed concept videos, which I've designed. CAT is not just about formulae, it's about concepts and how to apply them. In these concept videos, I've provided a way in which you can remember each and every one of these concepts uh, with examples. If you remember it this way, you should be able to apply it correctly. In the description below, you have the link for a sample concept video of mine. Next is step three. Once you watch my concept video, you should try to restate the concepts in your own way and fill it up in the concept checklist as done. I've also shared the entire concept checklist as a Google sheet and you can find it in the description below. It's a read-only sheet, so you can duplicate it on your Google Drive and start filling it up. Once again, remember, will formulae booklets alone be enough for this exam? No, definitely not. You also need to know the concepts on how to apply these formulae the correct way. Now on to step four, which is speed concepts. Some of you would be wondering what is this because you would not have seen this anywhere else. The reason for this is because students have always complained saying that I know the concepts, but I don't know how to apply it in a cat question. To solve this problem, I created speed concept quizzes. This is the last step to perfect your conceptual understanding. You see the syllabus for cat is the same as what you had in school percentages time and speed or quadratic equations but the kind of questions you get in cat are totally different you do not have any marks for steps they don't even want to see your answer sheet they just want the final answer they provide you with the calculator so you need to use the concept based shortcuts to quickly get the final answer and not make silly mistakes so each of these speed concept quizzes which i've designed contain 10 questions and they're all cat styled questions which will try to induce the silly mistake which you're likely to make and identify conceptual errors and fix them. Once you're done with this, you're definitely at a 90 plus percentile. And with mocks, daily quizzes, sectionals, practice questions, it's only likely to go up to 99 plus percentile very quickly. Remember that steps two and three, which are watching the concept videos and restating the concepts have to be done multiple times so that you do not forget the concepts over time. At this stage, I can't help but speak about two students of mine, right? So one with whom I had a recent interaction. Now, this is a student who has a strict 10-hour work week and she works six days a week. She also did not take maths up to 10 standard for obvious reasons. She wasn't good at it, she felt, or she was scared. Now, about six weeks after starting to prepare for Quan, the way I've outlined over here, I'm happy to share that she took a mock and she got four questions right. And she has shaped up pretty well. Now that's like 12 marks, which is close to 80th percentile. With about four months to go for the actual exam, it's only likely to go up towards eight to 10 to 12 questions right, which is gonna be close to the 99th percentile and beyond. Of course, full credit to her for putting in the efforts because that's important. But at the same time, you need to prepare the right way. Also another student of ours who was one of our highest scorers in CAT 2023 with a 99.96 percentile, was also from a non-math background. She got a 99.7% in quant. She followed the content ritually 
and went about completing the portions the way it was outlined. So put in the efforts, practice the correct way, and you're likely to plan this. So this is what we do with our students. We're there with them during this journey. We connect with them on a one-on-one -on -one basis. We clarify whatever doubts they might have and tweak the schedule so that they can achieve it. If any of you are interested in this or are finding want to be difficult, do sign up at mockad.com and connect with us. I am a commerce student and I score more than most engineers in the quant section. It really isn't about whether you've been a commerce student or an engineer. It's about the right practice and doing it the right way. Just follow these and you should be able to crack it. All the best.